Welcome back, y'all royals. Pray that all is well with each of you. Giving honor and praises to the Most High Yah. So as you see, there are some drones that are in two different areas. So they say, um, they calling them drones, but the truth be told is it could be more likely UFOs are unidentified objects, which we um, know at this point called the chariots from the Bible. So there's a video that I want you to listen in, then I'll go take you to a report to show you um, the activity or the sightings of the chariots that is shown. Drones flying in formation for miles. And on the ground, even local law enforcement calling them in. I had what I believed to be a drone pass over me and it was headed towards Yuma. Since the week before Christmas, the drones have been appearing around 7 at night and flying for hours. Sometimes they're seen in groups of 30 and able to fly very quickly, with witnesses saying some of the drones have wingspans estimated to be 6 feet or more. The sightings reported across five counties in Colorado. They can sit there and hover. They can descend very fast. They can... They can take off very fast. When Wyatt Harmon saw them above his land, he and his girlfriend tried to chase him down. That one's back. The mothership thing? Yeah. So he said, like they followed a the line of drones for 15 <laughs> miles, even it. pushing speeds past it's, 70 it's miles an hour, curious. but no luck. We got close to one, and it descended. I swear it got closer to us, and then the light shut off. It's kind of just scary. It's more unnerving than anything else. So far, their video is the best evidence to emerge, enhanced here, but still unclear. The FAA saying they're in contact with local law enforcement, but don't have any concrete information to act on. And the Army saying the drones don't belong to any nearby bases. Some experts speculating that the drones could be flying for private companies, conducting mapping or surveys for things like oil and natural gas. Other theories suggest they're a part of practice runs for the kind of drone shows put on at sporting events or theme parks. Trigger. But online, some residents are unnerved, wondering if drug cartels or the government are involved. Sparking conspiracy theories with people asking on Facebook, can we shoot it down if over our property? Authorities warning against that, saying shooting at any aircraft is a federal offense. And while the mystery remains unsolved, they don't think the drones are malicious. So, Gotti, this is all certainly strange, but do we know if any of this is illegal? Yeah, it's definitely weird, but at this point, the sheriffs have said they think the drones are still staying well above the 200 feet mark over people's property, which is probably too high for the drones to be looking into windows. So, no, as of now, officials don't think the mysterious operator is breaking any laws, but just like the rest of us, they want to know who they are. So, family... That just explained, he made a statement within now it's that. Nest camp. These guys that, can check uh, in 24 You know, is that the mothership? So, when does a drone have a mothership? So, they see UFOs. They've seen UFOs. That's what they're talking about, which are the chariots. So, family, it's just so bizarre because um, I'll take you to a website shortly and you can see how many entries of people seeing it throughout the United States and sometimes outside of the United States. But mainly the two areas that they're showing up in is the United States and in Great Britain, which, you know, coming from um, where it's actually, you know, showing that Great Britain and America is really one country. America was birthed outside, you know, birthed from in the sense of it got their rights at a time when, um, when, you know, of course that they became in said 1776 when the war was, but again, you know, it's, it's more deeper than that. Right. Um, so I'm going to take you to, um, the area where you'll see, and I've shared this before. So it's called the welcome to the national UFO reporting, um, center and click on enter. And then right here, I'm just going to go a little bit more here. Um, and then you can actually see, I'm just going to enlarge a little bit more and slide this over. So you see 20, um, the, I'm sorry, 12 of uh, 2019. So far, 452 sightings. Um, back in November was 679 sightings. October 2019 was 705 sightings. So you can pretty much see 
So it's just going to open up 20, um, well, 12 right here, 12, 2019. And, uh, the last time it was reported was on the 22nd It's showing here Clockston, um, <clears throat> here. And it says it was five minutes. So it's, uh, it says seven white light seen to the West side of the state moving upward at a steady rate. And then in, uh, Kent, Kennett square, Pennsylvania, it says witness to a triangle star or style craft views was, um, I want to say RT one long, Longwood area looking South, Southeast seeing travel was also traveling South or so. So then you, you have all these different places, right? So the last time that, uh, this person update their system was on 12, 22. So we know this is coming to the end of the month of December. So, um, I'm not sure how many, how often, um, they update it, but it's actually being seen like, you know, it said a whole lot. And for that in the video, he said mothership, the mothership. And so, you know, of course, you know, they're going to come up and give any type of way to offset the, um, the, the mindset of those who, oh no, we saw, you know, UFOs. We saw that. Um, well, it could be for this. They say it could be for that. That's, that's their whole game. But at the end of the day, our redemption is near family. Just know those who have not repent, those who have not repent, repent this day, understand and know who we are to the most high and keep these commandments, family blessings to each one of you. Shalom.